Hey everybody, welcome back to another superhero showcase for Marvel's Midnight Suns. My name's Christopher Rod and I run the channel by the same name. In partnership with Marvel and 2K, today's showcase highlights a hero that's near and dear to Marvel's Midnight Suns' own creative director, Jake Solomon's heart. We're looking at Ilyana Rasputina, a powerful sorceress who rules the demonic realm known as Limbo. Known for being able to teleport across time and space, you may know her better as Magic. What the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? As the Queen of Limbo, Magic's playstyle focuses on using her portals to move enemies, allies, and objects around the map at her will. I want to classify her as a support but I don't think that does her capabilities justice. Any more questions? She has a really unique tool set that's gonna make her one of your favorite superheroes on the roster by far. Magic will pair well with pretty much anyone, but will pull a bit more heroism from the pool, so plan accordingly. Her main trick is placing portals nearly anywhere on the map and then knocking enemies through them. So she has a nice amount of knockback cards. You could use something like Quick Soul Slash to knock enemies into explosives. You could try to use Kick to knock enemies into each other. Or maybe you just Soul Blast someone through a portal into a drop. Magic's arsenal is very knockback heavy for all the right reasons. First up, let's look at her skill called Gather. Now if you recall, I mentioned in the Hunter Deep Dive that it would be nice if there was a hero that could also group enemies together for setup purposes. Well, we've got a ding 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 here. When casting Gather, Magic's going to damage and move each enemy in an area towards its center. On Upgrade, you can increase its area of effect, and a late game mod could grant a 50% chance to apply one mark to affected units. I do hope that you guys are getting the impression now that there's a lot of possible combinations at play here. And if you start to think about some of the previous heroes that we covered, you should start to identify a lot of great combos. I mentioned earlier that her main trick is portals. If you're able to build your friendship with the Master of the Dark Arts, you are going to get even more portals to cast. At her level 1 passive, you'll get a 10% chance to generate a portal card after an enemy is knocked through a portal. And if you get that to level 2, that chance is going to jump to 25%. Now, to be honest, I wouldn't put this in the S tier passive category, but if you really focus on utilizing the portals as much as possible, there's a pretty good chance you'll have continuous portal cards in your hand to spam. Next up, we have a solid self-buff skill card for Ilyana. It's called Limbo's Grasp. It's going to last for the entire mission. It's going to ensure that enemies take extra damage when they're knocked through a portal. Considering how frequently you're going to be using these portals, this card is a no-brainer for any magic deck. On upgrade, this card will actually create a portal in addition to giving the buff. All the while, it's generating an above-average amount of heroism too. A late game mod, if you're lucky, could see you getting extra redraws on it. Now, let's move to one of Magic's more unique heroic cards. It's called Banish. What if you could just remove an enemy from the battlefield? Probably OP, right? Okay. But what if you could just remove him for a turn? A little bit more balanced. But what if... Hear me out here. Instead of just banishing them, you replace them with a drop. Now we're talking. You may have seen drops in my Everything You Need to Know About Marvel's Midnight Suns video. When knocking an enemy into a drop, there's a percentage-based chance of an instant KO. That percentage is going to increase the lower the enemy's health is. Now this alone is pretty cool, but there's more to banish than this. What if an enemy is targeting somebody at critical health? Well, just banish them for a turn and deal with them later. Wouldn't it be cool if banish could actually target your own allies? Hmm, yeah, well, you got it. Banish's upgrade gives you that ability. Last up, we have Magic's Midnight Sun's heroic ability, Dark Child. Now, this is gonna be best used when you're feeling totally overrun by enemies. It feels like just a, the, the most massive save that you could ever have. Dark Child's gonna dip into Eliana's love for the dark magic and make her invulnerable for a turn and taunt every enemy on the map. Now, that alone is huge, but the special sauce comes when Dark Child is upgraded. On upgrade, the card's also going to grant counter for a turn, and magic is going to hit back while being invulnerable on every enemy that strikes her. It was your time. The 
сейчас беда. Do not cross me again. Now, I've also got a little bonus for you today, a small tease, if you will. You ever wonder what your other superheroes are up to while you send your three main participants out to combat missions? You may not know the answer, but magic sure does. I'm just going to show you this, and you do what you will with this information. I'm not going to expand on it. Enjoy. Now, if you didn't see the recent announcement, let me be the one to tell you. We have a new release date of December 2nd. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this game and do a full playthrough. I'm also going to be doing a full playthrough on my own channel. So if you're not subscribed to Christopher Rod on YouTube, now would be a great time to do that. Make sure you're subscribed to the official Midnight Suns channel as well. We're going to continue to post some juicy videos here. And check out all the links down below for anything Midnight Suns related. Thanks again to Marvel and 2K for working with me on this series. We'll be back with another deep dive very soon. See you guys shortly. <laughs>